Here we are going to use a function called subplot in MATLAB and the meaning of that is you can see here where there is many small plots within one figure. So there is many great videos about that on YouTube I'm sure but uh, here we will cover a few additional tips like sometimes there is too much space between between the individual plots and I will show you a, a way to overcome that and a few other tips and tricks. But let's start with uh, the regular subplot just. So what you need to do is to first make up your mind what dimension you want on your figure. So in the case you just saw this is like 3 times 3, okay? Then we would type 3, comma 3. So, and the last number here is just which one of those uh, small plots we would start with. So, in the, up the one in the upper left corner is the first one. So, if we want to start to do something there, we would type 1. And then let's plot something. Just have some random data. And uh, let's change it to two. This is a little bit different than the other one. Okay, so here we have the first figure. This random vector plotted here in the upper left corner and there is position for five more small figures of this size. So if we change the last number here to two and run the code again. And by the way, I run this code. I have broken up the code with this percentage mark. So, if um, if I just press Control and Enter, it will run the that part of the code which is active. You know, I can change it like Control and Enter. And uh, yeah, why not do a loop for every small? We change this to N instead, so which count up for every iteration and we have six little figures or plots okay sometimes you want to have maybe one of those uh, maybe you want to have one figure which cover the first and, and the second position the way you would do that is uh, by typing one comma colon one colon two, like that. And um, so, if you want something down here, maybe in the entire bottom section, what would that be? Would be four colon six, right? Yes. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is, uh, you know, in this function. Uh, sometimes there is way too much space in between the individual plots and uh, there is no way to control for the position of those plots in using this regular function. But I will show you another function where you can and uh, uh, you need to go to MathWorks and find a function called tight subplot so I will give you the link in the description below. So, and if you if you download this function and save it in your active folder, if you just instead type tight subplot like that, and a few more inputs here then. So we start with just like before. If we want to make a figure like before with two times three, and uh, the three coming numbers here is all they are all associated with the um, spacing be the position of the plots so the first one is how much gap it should be between and um, I think we better run it so it's easier to you will easily see what I mean so here it pops up six small figures and um, if we manipulate those numbers you will see so I right click on one of those numbers and I press here and uh, I'm going to change this now in small increments 
And you will also see that the figure will change all the way down to no gap at all. Okay, and the next one is the related to the height, how much margins up and down. And here it's uh, similar, but on so here it's similar, but on the sides instead. Okay, so when you're going to use this function, there is one thing. It's a little bit different. W first, we have to s save a handle. It's called. So if I run this now, you can see handle will have six numbers, each uh, corresponding to one of these plots. And when we are going to plot something in them, we needed to start with typing oh sorry, axis and which one of those six. We're going to start with the first one in the upper left corner and now we can plot like before. Something random here again. And let's run it. So. And let's fill all the figures with some random data. Mm. So. So, I think there is some excess stuff here on the in this figure. Like, you see here that the exactly the same thing on the x-axis all over the place. And sometimes you, it's enough if you have it on the bottom figures and on the side. So if we want to, if you want to remove them, we can easily do that by uh, typing set ha. So this is a handle. So for one, two, three, the three first, we want to remove, say, the x tick that I spelled wrong. Like that. And then we just type uh, uh, those brackets and nothing in between. So, so let's, you can run it, the code by just marking it and press F9 also. And you see it disappear. Now let's do the same thing with uh, the excess uh, on the y-axis here and here. And we would type um, press y-axis and two comma three and five colon six. We need to have brackets here as well. We run it. So maybe we want to add some grids. Oh that's a bit strange. Oh never mind. It's not really important for this video but um, okay the last thing let's say you want to have um, first I will play around a little okay so the last thing is um, Say we want to have a title over the entire figure. We could type the uh, title within, but they would come with the title. I'm really confused today. Then they would come like that, right? Over every individual. Say we want to have a big one over the entire um, figure. Then we would write sub sub plus I think sub title and uh, let's type something here main title so great so thank you for watching and uh, subscribe for more